Hello, I'm Ryan from Who's Nest, and this video is going to be the first part in a free series video on making a new project on the Workbee CNC machine. In this project, we are going to make a log face. I've got inspiration for this from going to the Christmas market and seeing them on the stalls. The first video, we'll be picking out a log and preparing this log to cut the face into. The second video, we'll go over the cam software and then roughing out the face. And the third video, we'll finish the face and do any final finishing pieces to really make the log pop. So I hope you're going to subscribe to our channel and watch this project through to completion. So what I'm going to do now is go over to our log pile and pick out a suitable log. So I'm over here at our log stack, I'm just looking through for a nice log which I think will work well to the machine. So I want one to sit flat like that, but the problem is when I machine into that, I haven't got the bark section to machine into. I think it create quite a nice effect if you had something like that, where if I machine into the bark, it exposes the wood underneath but leaves the bark layer. This one looks not, looks not too bad. So if I just give it a measure, it's uh, 60 mil, which our machine can cut 47 the whole way through. So if I want to machine down this side, it may be a little bit too thick. I found this one earlier, and this one looks pretty suitable. It's about 40 mil, so that fit nicely onto our machine. I can carve onto the front here, do a nice 3D model. I think that'll work out pretty well. So I've got my log picked out. It's a nice half log with a good bit of bark on this side. On the back side, it's a bit rough, so what we need to do is surface this face. Doing this will give us a nice flat surface to put against the spoiler board when it comes to do the Santa's face. And also we need to reduce the thickness by 5 to 10 mil to make sure we've got enough clearance when we come to do the Santa's face to get down each side. So I'm just going to start clamping this down now. I've got the log clamped down to our spoiler board. What I've done, I've got it locked in front and back with two bits of MDF that I've screwed down to our spoiler board. And then I've stopped that from moving by using some L brackets which I've screwed into this MDF and then screwed into our log. So this log is fully locked in, front and back movement. And then to stop this rocking on the rounded piece, what I've done is shoved some spacers underneath there, gradually following the profile of the log to lock it in it doesn't roll or tip when we're machining right near the edges. All we've got to do now is set up our work position. So I've already got our X and Y work zero set at this position here. It doesn't need to be precisely on this corner as you're only surfacing the logs, so we're doing no precise machining. What I've got to do now is set our, works, our work zero for our Z height. I'm going to set our Z zero at the spoiler board height, not the top of the workpiece height. That way I can precisely set how thick I want this log to be from working off the top of the spoiler board. So I'm just going to do that now using our Z-Touch probe. So, I've got the log clamped, I've got our work zero XY set to here, I've got our work Z zero set to the bottom of the spoiler board, I've got a cam program set up, I haven't gone through that because all it is is simply just a square which is a little bit wider than the area of this log and it's just going to offset cut and surface the whole log. Like I said earlier I've got the Z0 set to the spoiler board and in the cam software I've set this to surface log down to 40mm and then we'll see how we go from there and see if it takes off all this rough and uneven surface on this log. So I'm going to get this going and then we'll come back once it's surfaced it to 40mm and see how it's come out. So the surface and cut is now complete and it's kind of pretty nice. Probably could have gone three or five mil not as deep as when it got to its second pass it was all pretty much flat so we didn't really need to go any deeper but I just let it, let it run anyway to make the material a bit, a bit smaller. 
One thing which also nearly happened is we nearly hit these clamps there. So it's just something to be aware of in your own projects. All we've got to do now is just unclamp this. So as you can see, we have the material now nicely surfaced and it sits nicely flat on our spoiler board. Check back for part two soon, where what we're doing is set up the cam program and you rough out the face on this bark side surface. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and like our video.